Hello everyone, I am Dr. Rajkumar. I am taking care of liver transplant anesthesia and liver transplant ICU in care hospitals Banjara Hills. Today I am going to talk very briefly about a very dangerous condition called acute liver failure. Acute liver failure is a clinical condition in which the liver functions decline very rapidly and it can be life threatening with a high mortality rate of about 60 to 80 percentage in patients who did not have any liver disorders prior to that acute insult. So what causes this acute liver failure? Acute liver failure is caused by a number of etiologies. The most common in Indian setting is viral hepatitis. The most common viral hepatitis which causes acute liver failure or hepatitis A and E followed by hepatitis B, C and D. This is followed by drugs and toxins in the form of paracetamol which people take with suicidal intentions and drugs like anti-tuberculous drugs, anti-retroviral drugs and uh, even anti-epileptics to some extent can cause acute liver failure. There are multiple other very less known uh, causes for acute liver failure but the most common in Indian setting is viral hepatitis. So why are we more worried about acute liver failure? Acute liver failure, uh, as you all know, liver does a number of functions. So when all these functions are affected, these contribute to a increased brain swelling called cerebral edema. It can in fact cause acute liver failure, acute renal failure and it can increase the bleeding manifestations. So how do you diagnose this condition? There are a huge number of blood tests where you try to find out what caused that acute liver failure that would help us manage according to that particular etiological cause. If it is going to be some drug related acute liver failure, then we try to treat it with antidotes. If it is virals, sometimes few antivirals do help, but it is more of a supportive care in such conditions. So the blood tests are done imaging studies in the form of ultrasound abdomen and uh, even dopplers mri ct scans and even a liver biopsy may be required in few conditions when there is so much of confusion about what caused the liver to fail so how does it present how does a common man come to know that the liver is failing usually most of the symptoms of an acute liver failure are very non-specific to start with it may be just present with right upper quadrant pain it may present with nausea, vomiting, malaise and all general symptoms and it may present also as jaundice and with increase in somnolence and patients become agitated behavior. So how do you manage an acute liver failure? Acute liver failure has to be ideally managed in a intensive care unit in a hospital with liver transplant facilities. So both medical management and liver transplant are offered. There are few conditions which have a favorable prognosis that is they won't require a transplant but it is not very sure short thing that none of these patients will require a liver transplant. It is like they have a favorable prognosis that is if the organs are supported and if they don't land up in any major complications there is still a possibility that they can recover without a liver transplant of which most common which we say is hepatitis E which has a better prognosis compared to other virals and drug related acute liver failures. So the mainstay of ICU management is to protect the brain from pressure effects, to protect the kidneys, to protect the patient against infections and to support the liver and provide good nutrition. Still even after all these supportive measures more than 50 percentage of individuals require liver transplant and timely liver transplant has a good prognosis and success rates are quoted as 80 percentage even in international literature. Take care of your liver everybody. Happy liver day. Thank you.